hello so mates welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can make an a shape gown the easiest way so you need your chalk your tape measure and your scissors definitely and also your ruler <laughs> yes so in this video i've already folded the code into two one for the back and one for the front yes into two so that makes it four one for the back and one for the front so i've already measured my lengths which i'll be using 55 so already my table is not long enough so just bear with me but i promise you you'll get what i'm doing so just look closely and pay attention so first and foremost i'm gonna be measuring the shoulder the shoulder i'm using is 16 inches which I divided by 8 oh, I beg your pardon divided by 2 that gives me 8 so that I'm marking 8 inch and so I actually use that place at the upper part of my dress so that's my shoulder so I measured it I measured it from here and coming down I'm measuring um, my I'm O which is my bust divided by four. Yeah, I'm not removing anything because I'll still remove the shoulder slant. I'm using all the 9.5. This method works easily for me. Just divide your shoulder by your bust by four and mark. And my waist, um, 17 inches. So I'm trying to connect the shoulder line and the bow arm all together make to make a straight line so from that point i'm going to be removing one inch i'm coming down by one inch my next line i'm measuring three inches on the upper part and for the width i'm coming down by five inch you can do the neck according to your own preference if you want it high low or short um color or anything you want it so i'm going to be connecting my sh front, my shoulder slant like so just follow everything i'm doing and you'll get easily that's the slanted line yeah so if you can measure from the slanted line up you see that i have 8.5 left because i've removed the one from the upper part so i'm trying to connect my neckline so i do it this way to easily get my round curve so I first make it four corner, then I can easily do any design I want. So it's my round curve is easy to do like this. Okay. If you can use your free hand as long as you are doing the right thing. So I'm going to like extend my arm over line and also my waist line. So here I'm measuring my bust line, which is 38 divided by 4. That gives me 9.5 plus 2 inch extra allowance. That gives me 11.5. You can add more or you can add one, you can add half. It depends on what you want. And same thing I'm going to be repeating for my waistline. The waist measurement I'm using is 35. So I had it two inches for the same allowance so that gives me um, 11 10.75 i'm using my french curve to connect it together you can easily use your ruler but you know our body is not straight so i'm going try as i get a slight curve that was why i used my french curve it needs to be slight curve so from that point i'm going to be extending all the way to the m line some actually extend it from the bust line you know after you measured your bust you can easily extend it all the way down and some from the waist and some from the hip but in this video i'm going to be extending mine from the waist so to get my m measurement so that it won't be too wide i'm going to be um dividing by the hip by four the hip is 42 
divided by 4, that gives me 10.5. So I'm going to be adding extra 6 inches. So that gives me 16.5. So here I was measuring 16.5. Sorry, my camera is not showing you very well there. But I was measuring 16.5. You can easily add 4, 5, 6. You can even add up to 8 to 10, depending on how wide you want it to be. But advice it which you shouldn't make it too wide so from that point i'm going to be placing my tape measure very slightly i don't have a long ruler if you have a long ruler you can use your long ruler so i'm going to be doing placing it slanted like so off from, from the waist and slant it all the way to the m line can you see that so just follow your instinct and trust in your hands to do the right thing you can easily use your free hand if you have a very very good artistic hand but well, I mean that I don't have artistic hand now my people must guide me as you know now in case you haven't subscribed don't forget to so here yeah, I want to confirm my hip measurements if it is enough for the hip measurement so getting my hip line which is eight and looking at it I have extra one inch on it so i'm gonna be trying to like add more to it really like what it so that's why i was extending it this way i added a little more to it and slanted it again all the way down into the m line can you see what i just did so you can easily use your free hand just make sure you have artistic hands so you go you just go and don't go and draw rubbish yes so right by i'm gonna be cutting it out now the remaining pieces i'm cutting out i'm gonna be using for the sleeve and the pleat i'm gonna be using that pleat you saw on the sleeve so i'm gonna be using this part you are seeing on the sleeve all i just did because that is not in this video so all i just did was make it straight follow my guidelines and just cut it straight and just pleat it on the dress on the sleeve rather so that was how i did it so i forgot to measure my arm oh so i'm gonna be using my french curve to do my arm oh like so you can easily use your arm but for the sake of tutorial yes so is your arm hole to get a better curve and in case she wants um this arm holes and ruler sets where you get your hip off and everything you can you can easily send an email we have for sale and we can deliver nature nationwide anywhere you are we have the ruler set that has the hip, hip curve the long ruler you can easily and even if it's this simple ammo curve you can easily get it for affordable prices just send a dm we'll get it to you wherever you are so here we have our neck we have our arm hole and this is our shoulder slant so i'll just have to do it's very simple to join together so don't even wait for sewing video just join the side place it together join the shoulder turn the neck and join the sides and fix your sleeve and it is as simple as that no need for lining no need for any paparazzi and after joining you can easily add your stones your embellishment any way you want it so that was what i did for my other clothes so here i'm gonna be teaching you how to cut the sleeve so this is the pieces i got from the so this line it has to be closed so i'm trying to like measure 7.5 inch 0.7.5 to close this so i'm going to be sewing all that place together so i'm going to be closing it up From a straight line so you don't get confused when you start measuring your sleeve so here yeah, i'll be sewing together so from here i'm going to be starting my other measurement that's the down part 
so here's my lens i'm using 11 add half inch for swinging allowance no let me add let me make it 12 let me make it 12 let me make it 12 so my actual measurement is 11 i added one inch extra for sewing allowance for folding it in at the end yeah so from the from this point i'm going to be coming down by five inches because the top part i'm using is 14. so 14 divided by two that's seven plus two that's nine for the arm hole you can easily use five six depending on how big the top hand is but at least five six on an average is enough so from this point i'm going to be making a slant line from here to the other hand yeah so from this point i'm going to be looking for the mid point just follow the process and you will get a very good sleep so i'll be folding the tip measure into two to get my midpoint, that's another trick for you to get to calculate. So here I'm gonna be marking. That's my midpoint there. So from this point, I'm gonna be going up by half, like marking it at the midpoint also, and coming down by half inch. So I'm going to be using my French curve to connect it together. Just look at the way I'm placing my French curve. And use your hand to smoothen it very well. Like so, yeah. So, so here I'm gonna be measuring my round sleeve. My round sleeve is 12 divided by 2, that's 6 plus 2, 8. So I'm marking my 8 right there. So from that point, from this point, I'm going to be connecting both together. And there are many adaptations you can do for this sleeve. So I'll wait that in our future videos. If you have any requests, you can drop it down in the comment section. And if you have anywhere you don't understand, just let me know in the comment section because I'll be right there answering all your questions. So this is a slant line I made. So from there, I look for the midpoint, marked half up, half down, and connect it to each other to make a curve. So I'm trying to like measure what will give me. That gives me 11 inches. So I'm just going to be adding extra one inch. So I'll be on the safer side. I'm just trying to add extra one inch yes in case of allowance so even if i'm picking at least i won't pick more than 1.5 so slanting it back into the so i have enough allowance to sew my sleeve so here i cut out don't forget to drop your opinions in the comment section and if you have a question feel free to ask if you have a request, feel free to ask. All of you that have been waiting for me to do this A-shaped gown, here you have it with the sleeve. It's not hard to join, just join the shoulders, join the sides, turn your neck, fix the sleeve, and you are good to go. So I just added a little embellishment to it. That was how that turned out. So that hairs you can use it for freehand but this is the easiest way to do it thank you for joining me into this video and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is so with for me
and give this video a thumbs up i love you all thank you bye